everyone, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you five urban legends from Mississippi. Number one, the Three-Legged Lady of Nash Road. The Three-Legged Lady is an urban legend unique to Mississippi. As with many legends, the details vary as to just who this three-legged woman is. In one version, an insane woman sewed her dead lover's leg onto her body. But another tells a sadder tale. This version of the tale tells of the kidnapping and murder of a young girl by a satanic cult who was said to do the worship and sacrifices at an abandoned church on Nash Road. Her body was dismembered and the pieces were scattered about the woods. The three-legged lady is said to be the ghost of her mother who walks up and down the road searching and carrying the only part of her daughter she could find, her leg. It's said that if you stop at the church and turn off your headlights and honk the horn three times, the three-legged lady will knock on the roof of your car and that's your cue to race her to the end of the street. All the while, she'll be slamming her body against your car and some witnesses even claim they have the dents to prove it. Number 2. The Legend of Witch Dance at Natchez Trace Along the Natchez Trace, a forest trail developed by early Native Americans leading from Nashville, Tennessee to Natchez, Mississippi, there is a place known as Witch Dance. The site just south of Tupelo is said to be where witches once congregated to perform their ceremonies and dark rituals. By the light of the moon, they would perfect their craft and ceremoniously dance around a blazing fire. As their dark powers manifested, each place their feet would light on the grass as they danced was said to wither and die and become infertile forevermore. Today, there is a campground at the site, but these barren patches can still be found, and it's said any who trod on the forsaken spots are doomed to a terrible fate. Oh, and by the way, this happens to be right near an ancient Hopewell Indian burial mound. Just saying. Number 3. Chapel of the Cross This is a sad tale of a woman who would never stop mourning the loss of her beloved, not even in death. Back around 1860, Helen Johnstone and Henry Vick were planning to marry after a four-year-long engagement. As their big day was drawing near, Henry traveled to New Orleans to complete some errands before the wedding. Here, things took a tragic twist and Henry ran into an enemy from his past while in a tavern. The men had been drinking and their fight got real ugly real quick. In an attempt to defuse the situation, Henry attempted to apologize, but the other man would hear none of it, and he challenged him to a duel, and Helen's fiancé was shot dead. On what should have been the happiest day of her life, she instead was stricken with grief and attended Henry's funeral wearing her wedding dress. Devastated, it was nearly a decade before she eventually married a minister and raised a family. In her death, she was laid to rest near her husband but it seems her spirit still belonged to Henry, as she's often seen weeping at his grave, which lies miles from where she rests, while wearing her wedding dress, of course. Number 4. The Witch of Yazoo According to legend in the 1800s, along the shores of the Yazoo River, there lived an old woman who was caught luring fishermen off the river so she could torture them to death. Hearing of her dastardly ways, the local sheriff decided to go out and take a look for himself. Just when he was about to confront the old woman, she started running, trying to make a getaway in the swamp. But eventually the sheriff caught up to her as she'd gotten herself stuck in quicksand and was sinking fast. Infuriated at her pending fate, she vowed revenge, declaring in 20 years, I will return and burn this town to the ground. Of course, everyone blew off her threats and went about their business, but wouldn't you know it, 20 years later, in 1904, their town did in fact burn down and hundreds of buildings were destroyed. Remembering her curse, some of the townsfolk went to her grave in Glenwood Cemetery, only to find that the heavy chains that surrounded her grave were broken in two. And last but not least, number 5, Stucky's Bridge. According to legend, way back in the day, a man by the name of Stucky, who some say was a member of the notorious Dalton Gang of Outlaws, opened a tavern and inn in Meridian, 
But far from being an honest businessman, it's said that he would rob and murder the guests at his inn, then throw their bodies in the nearby Chunky River. Well, one day he got caught, and the punishment for his crime was to be hung from a bridge. Eventually, his body was cut down and splashed into the river below, never to be seen again. Or so they thought. People claimed to see his ghostly figure dangling from the bridge, hearing loud splashing sounds, or seeing him wander the riverbanks with lantern in hand. There have even been people who claim they've been pushed off the bridge by his angry ghost. We hope you enjoy today's stories. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels. And don't forget to check out our podcast.